Hello and welcome to another commentary. Tonight we'll be taking a look at a username I cannot pronounce and his review on No More Heroes, the European release. Now in reviews there are a lot of aspects you got to take a look at. The gameplay, the story, the graphics, the controls, etc, etc, etc. And if there's any problems with this game. This guy definitely has one of those aspects, but with the others, you'll just have to wait and see. So let's Booty right there, faggot! Oh joy, it's 90% of YouTube users. I happen to know, because I did this thing called research, that this entire video you do a commentary on is not one, not two, but three years old! So, what are you going to say about that? All I have to say is, you're right. Well yeah, you would say that because you're a tough fat! Say what? I will admit, this video is well over three years old, which really makes it very old. The problem is, as I'm doing this commentary, there's no videos of now that I can do a commentary on. And if there are, they're even done by someone that everyone's done a commentary on already, or the person is old news. And really, I don't want to jump on the bandwagon. But hold on, I happen to know that you hate people doing commentaries on old videos, and that you always say that when they do that, they're beating on a dead horse. However, you're doing one right now, so does that make you, oh, what's it called, hippo? Again, you're completely right. Say what now? I have stated that when people do commentaries on old videos, they are beating a dead horse. My problem with these commentaries though, is that the fact they always sound constructive when the person has most likely learned from that video and moved on. So with my commentary, it's just basically taking the piss out of the video then being constructive. However, if it makes me a hypocrite, it makes me a hypocrite, and you have every right to call me out on it. Though, the thing is, I have no other videos to work on, so this will have to do. So, Mr. YouTube, what have you got to say to that? Yeah, yeah, no, you know you got a dumb avatar, I mean, who uses an avatar like that, you dumb fag? <laughs> You do know I have operatives around the world that all I need to do is give a quick phone call and they'll be there where they need to be in seconds, right? Oh, you think you're so tough, huh? Oh, come on, come to my town. I'll bring it down to you. I'll bring it down to you, so. I oh, excuse me. I just gotta get this. Oh. What do you want, fag? Keep you having that big mouth while it's still attached to your bloody neck. Whoa, what the fuck? Well, that's enough for pointing out that I'm a hypocrite. Let's dive into this video. In front of me. I have two censored works of art. Is it just me, or is he holding up his two fingers to the camera? Well, at least he's proving to the French he can still fire a bow. First off, J.D. Sel Selinger's The Catcher in the Rye, censored in 1950s for its vulgar language. Second, we have a video game, which was censored for its violence. Hmm, this was 50 years ago, this is 2008. What the fuck? What kind of era are we living in? We just censor things. Yeah, I mean, what kind of world are we living in where people are censoring stuff just in case children stumble across it and listen to all the vile and evil things that they shouldn't really be listening to until they're older? Yeah, what kind of world are we living in? This book, I'm studying at school, it's a masterpiece. It is personally, it's one of the best books I've ever read. About Holden Caulfield. Um, yeah, I love it. I, I'm, a, I'm becoming obsessed by it. But, um, fantastic book. And they decided to censor it back in the 50s. But due to an overruling of censorship, it was not censored. Works of art, not censored. And this has what to do with the review? Nothing? Okay then. This is a video game. Not a book, not a film, but a video game. Really? I always thought they were donuts! Huh. Explains a lot now, doesn't it? We are censoring games now. What kind of era are we living in? Get used to that feeling of deja vu! You're gonna be feeling it quite a lot. And I'm going to be skipping a few seconds of this video because all it is is just text. Okay. Boy, have I got a treat for you viewers today. I'm rising my expectations, waiting for the letdown. I went out of my way buying this piece of shit. <sighs> okay, yesterday at EB Games, I, um, I went in there and I uh, pre-ordered uh, Tom Clancy's Rainbow Six Vegas 2. Incredible game. Or so I've told. It's, I don't know, I like the first one, so the second one must be good. Hey, just a quick question. Um, percentage way, how much has this got to do with the entire... Okay, then. And I went over and I said, Whoa, has this came out yet? They went, yeah, no more heroes. Yeah, we got stock yesterday. Only about three sitting out the back, because the game... <laughs> they only ordered in, like, five copies. A new game. Five copies. That's how shit this game is selling right now. So, um, 
I went over and I said, what's your return policy? They said, oh, seven days. I'm like, oh, so if I don't like this, wink, wink, I can return it, right? And they went, yeah, pretty much. That's what our policy says. So, I got it, people. Bum, 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 bum. Wah, wah. Oh, wait, I actually do have the audio. That's right, people. This is the version everyone loves to hate, the infamous European release of No More Heroes by Rising Nazis, the Pixie Dust version. Huh, wouldn't know that Tinkerbell was working with the Nazis. The rumors are true, people. This game is a disgrace to all humanity and mankind. Then you haven't seen David Cameron yet. This version should be fucking just burnt. If you have a copy, burn it right now. Yes, if you have a copy that you spent money on, burn it. It might be a waste of money, but hey, at least you have firewood. Now, the reason I want the Pixie Dust version, because I'm importing the uh, American version from PlayAge.com, so it should be coming very soon. One thing European gamers did get that American gamers didn't get, wow, look at this. Wow, we get a comic book manual. Uh, yeah, guess what, we don't care. Can we move on to the game already, because you know, this is a fucking review. Yeah, so a comic book manual is meant to make up for the gallons of blood loss. Don't think so, Rising Star. For all those who don't care about what he says about the comic book, say I thank you. <laughs> who gives a shit, Rising Star? Your game's a piece of shit. Your game's a piece of... shit? I guess that's why he said the audio cut off. I still don't understand why they didn't go for an 18 plus. A 16 plus? Come on, you would have passed this game uncut. Easy. <sighs> Rising Star, you pig. Hey look, it's him recording his TV screen! Yay! That's right kids, you ain't cool until you recorded your TV screen. Okay, so I've just been playing this piece of shit for only a few minutes, and um, it's almost unplayable. Turn you down. Hit A, A, A. Finishing move! WHAT THE FUCK WAS THAT?! Um, it's what you called a finishing move? I guess? Oh yeah, now he becomes aggressive. Oh yeah, let's take a look. More pixie dust. Oh yeah, oh, look at all that pixie dust. Oh my god. Uh, 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 spin it? Oh, this is the most unplayable game I've ever played in my life. It's so boring. It's like, oh, fuck, this game sucks. It's like, ah, oh, fuck, this game sucks. That sounds like an interesting game. I haven't played that before. The pixie dust version is beyond bad. It makes bad look fucking, this is just... WHERE'S THE BLOOD?! Get used to him complaining about there's no blood in the game. That's the entire review! You may now cringe. I PAID FOR BLOOD, NOT FOR PIXIE DUST! I'm gonna ring up EB as a joke, seriously, this game... But, uh, EB has a 7 day return policy, so yeah, I'm gonna return this, hell yeah. Yeah, yeah, you, you can return it, I mean, you, you, I mean, you get, you're getting the American version, I mean, you just return it, even though you just, you just got this game just to make a review of it, you know, simply to make a review, you, you, you can review it, you, 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 you can return it, you, you, you can do that. In the American version, you kept playing because there was so much blood, you kept playing, you didn't want to stop, but this piece of fucking shit, GAH! There's no point even playing it! Yeah, this makes no point in playing the game because there's no blood in it. I mean, it doesn't matter about the controls, the graphics, the gameplay, or whatever. There's no blood in it, so it shouldn't be played. Alright, now here's Death Metal. Now, um, I've seen the comparison video 50 fucking times. Now I'm about to show you the truth behind this piece of, piece of fucking shit they call No More Fucking Pixie Dust! Fuck you, Rising Star! Fuck you! Can you wonder for children count how many times he dropped the F1 within thou seconds? I've seen the comparison video 50 fucking One. times. Now I'm about to show you the truth behind this piece of... Piece of Ooh. fucking shit they call no more fucking Three. pixie dust! Fuck Four. you, rising star! Five. Fuck you! Five. Five times. Ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah, uh, ah. Uh. I hear blood squirting, but I don't see any. There are his hands. You're joking, right? I don't care about this. Is this a joke? Is this seriously? I just want to be number one. Then master the ways of the assassin. Here's your ticket to paradise. <laughs> that is the. Oh. <laughs> Was this a review or a let's play? I completely forgot now. <laughs> oh. No, Jake, I'm laughing my ass off here at how. Bad this 
version is. What? What's that? Is that a pile of pixie dust? No, pixie dust is yellow. That looks like dried up shit. Hey, just like this video. This is the biggest disgrace to ever come to the world of gaming. Okay. Yes, people, no more heroes. The European version is the biggest disgrace to gaming because it has no blood. Get that through your heads, people. No blood. Okay, now we're outside. We're in the outside area of this piece of shit. Now I have to go deposit money at a bank or some shit. So I've actually I moved up a fair bit. Yeah, 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 yeah. I'm actually gaining somewhere with this piece of shit. Now I'm on gun. Thank you for that pointless scene that if edited out would have actually made this video shorter. May I please have another? Uh, this, this is really depressing because it has a great story, great plot, everything's fantastic. But when you get in the gameplay, you just feel like just killing yourself. This is so depressing. I mean, this is a perfectly crafted game, Suda 51's masterpiece, but now they're doing this shit to people. So a game that is perfectly mastered, but because they censored out blood, is worth all your rage. Yeah, I'd hate to see what you think about censored porn. Why? <laughs> Pixie Dust Paradise, here I come. Oh yeah, oh look, oh, yay, Pixie Dust! Don't you love children's games? I swear, this is like Viva Pinata. Oh, actually, now I think about it, Viva Pinata is more fucking violent than this game. You stab them with a shovel, and dust comes out. Viva Pinata is more fucking violent than this fucking piece of fucking shit! Why do I get the slight feeling I'm watching the angry video game nerd, except non-talented? It's fuck, and the gameplay is just repetitive if there was blood I in the American version you split them in half so the gameplay is so repetitive but because in the American version you cut them in half it makes it better yeah I have two words for you bullshit there's no physics to this game fuck <laughs> I'm sorry what was that again fuck it sounds like he's been transformed into a war dog Fucking hell, they could have at least done, you know, something like Sin City stylish blood. This isn't even stylish. This, ah, oh, fucking. Do you just love it when they always cut off in the middle of the sentences? It always shows great video editing. This is like the best part of the whole game, seriously. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> That's funny, that really is funny. Seriously. Too bad this game's a fucking load of shit, then maybe I'll be laughing a bit more. But no, there's no humor in this, because what's the fucking point if there's no blood? Yeah, there's no humor in this, because there's no blood. You know, Tom and Jay would be so much better if every time Tom got cut in half or sliced or whatnot, thousands upon thousands of gallons of blood came spurting out of his body and he was running around bleeding all over the place. Yeah, that would have made Tom and Jay better. Blood makes it cartoony and funny. Oh shit, uh, your face, uh. What more can I say? This has to be the worst gaming experience I've ever had in my life. Because when I'm playing it, I'm thinking in the back of my head, America has gallons of blood. Yeah, but America a bunch of... Why don't we? This is not fair. We are living... Are we living in a fascist era? Is this where censorship... Censorship is political. So, are we living in some sort of... Nazi sort of era where think people can control what you think and see. You know, if we were living in a Nazi era, then basically the game would be killing off Jewish people and trying to make the Holocaust, and it would be called No More Jews, and Adolf Hitler would be the hero. This is this is an example of fascism. This is an example of how censorship is taken to the extreme. I quote from Suda51. He said that his true vision was the uncut version, not the censored version. I know people are going to hate me for using this, but this clip sums up what I'm thinking through this entire video. Oh my god, who the hell cares? This is a fucking load of shit. Fuck this piece of shit. This game gets a 1.7 out of 10. Really? Is the game that bad? Is the story terrible? Is the controls bad? Is the display bad? We never know because all you do is cry about how there's no blood in the game. The uncut version is coming. I'm going to review that. And I predict that the uncut version will get more like a 9.6. So, the American version, which most likely will have the same story, 
gameplay, graphics and controls is going to get a much higher rating than the European version because there's blood in it. You know, there's a word for people like you and it starts with a B. Hey guys, I got an idea. If we sing a song about the word B, maybe we'll actually know what this guy is. Just imagine the music in your head. Okay, ready? And a one, and a two, and a B is for bias. That's what he is, you see. B is for bias. That's what he is, you see. B is for bias. That's what he is, you see. Oh, bias, bias, bias starts with B. That's it. But for now, this gets a 1.7. Go! Mad rage! Ha ha ha! In your face, America! We got something you didn't! Ah, uh, yeah, we got a. Uh, we got. Uh. Oh, wow. A, 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 a music video. Yeah, that's very sad. So, what do you prefer? A shitty music video or gallons of fucking blood? You know, I prefer to end this video right now, which is exactly what I'm going to do. To the conclusion, this video is. AWFUL! Everything about it is terrible. I mean, all he basically does is complain about the fact there's no blood in the game. Nothing about the controls, nothing about the story, nothing about the graphics, just no blood. And another big problem is he always cuts off in the middle of the sentence. I mean, what kind of idiot cuts off in the middle of their sentence? No cock.